everyone, and welcome to our new episode of The Three Whisketeers, the show that likes to share a whiskey and have a lot of fun. My name is Jamie. I'm your host. This is our angel-haired hipster, Curtis, and our happy hunter, and Eddie. And today we got a big display covered up. So, That's right. Uh, this is something that, this is a project of yours, so why don't you explain it, bud? Well, um, when I go to the bar or somewhere and they don't have any kind of whiskey that I like, I just kind of, I have a go-to. And this go-to is very commercialized and some people think it's just kind of like blah. But I want to compare this to real whiskey, something that we talk about all the time because we love this company. Uh, so we're going to do a little comparison between, boom, our friends are Maker's Mark and Buffalo Trace. And I know some people have said that this is like not even a comparison. Night and day. Yeah, but I there's a lot of things we can talk about this. And, and I just want to bring that to light. But this one is a special box. It's, uh, it's got a special price on it. And it came with a... Ooh, came with a little bottle. Okay. Mm -hmm. And it came with a little, like a Christmas ornament type thing. Hmm. And then it came with a little gift. Okay. I thought it was going to be... I'm hoping it's a flask, but... Uh, it's a smaller box. <laughs> so... Eh, no, it's a Christmas ornament. Oh. Oh, okay. Another Christmas ornament? Another Christmas ornament. Oh, and it's got a lot of little ripped pieces of paper uh, from, mm. like, the title and stuff. And it's got that uh, rubber that they put on. That's pretty neat. Candle wax, I think. Candle wax, Unless yeah. it's rubber now. Well, well, it was always candle wax before. We also might want to mention that your mom... Oh, that's right! <laughs> my mom! Thank you for yeah, your mom. For my my mom, mom got us a cake. Got us a little cake right here. Because we went over 100 subscribers. On, on YouTube. That's right. Thanks, mom. Thank you, mom. Love you. Yep. And uh, it's it's a short cake with uh, some coconut shavings on top. It's really nice. I thought it was uh, Tres Leches cake, but I wasn't that lucky. Oh, oh that would have been nice. That would have been really nice, but... So we're going to call this the uh, Battle of the Bourbons. We have their underdog, the Maker's Mark. And we have uh, what we believe to be the better one. What do they call it? What? When the underdog and then the uh, unboxing or something. When you have an underdog and then the you favorite. Have favorite. So we have yeah. the underdog with the Maker's Mark and then we have the favorite. It, yeah, and it just depends who you're talking to because some people have not had Buffalo Trace or Maker's Mark. And the thing about it is Maker's Mark... Um, it's over twenty. It's it's, it's, it's a, over thirty dollars. Okay, Buffalo Trace here in Iowa is about twenty three to twenty five dollars, and um, which is a superb price. So, mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. It's almost like Trace Light Cheese Cake. Soft, yeah, it's, it's moist. Soft, moist. So, mm. we'll start off with our buffalo tray since Curtis and I have ours. That's the square one, guys. Just so we know. Go on, explain. Um, I think break it down for us. Uh, it doesn't explode like a rye would, but it doesn't. It does definitely has a little freshness to it, but it's very smooth. It's not too sweet. It's just easy drinking, but it's still you still get all those notes that kind of. You can tell it's, it's it's above the cut. What do you think? It's Buffalo Trace. It's Buffalo Good. Trace. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> well, we're going to try this one. This is Maker's Mark. Just a normal Maker's Mark. Mm -hmm. Which is uh, also a Kentucky Straight Bourbon. Same thing. Distilled, aged, and bottled by Maker's Mark. Kentucky. Dookie. I don't want to say it's not smooth, but it definitely is. It's got some... Rough edges. I don't think it's as smooth as the Buffalo Trace. No, that was no. one of the first things I yeah. noticed. It was just so much more. It had a lot more burn to it. Burn everywhere. Yeah. Uh, burn doesn't like the burn. I think Buffalo Trace is sweeter. I might just because I just had that cake. So I'm yeah. gonna go again. Cake boy. You did not want to put Buffalo Trace up against Maker's Mark. Yeah. Tell I us thought, why. I thought that was really just. It, it was not a good comparison. Okay. Well, you can tell I us mean, why. They're, they're both straight bourbons. They're both. They're both from Kentucky. Turkey. Yeah, and that's where it stops. Okay. <laughs> I, I, I mean, I don't think that's a good comparison. I don't think it's fair to either one of them to compare. 
Well, see, this is the thing that, that my, and I think I said this already. When you go to the bar, this is considered almost top shelf. Yeah. And some bars don't even have Buffalo Trace. Most, well, most don't. bars don't. Yeah. And, and, and it's, this is like over $30 and this is 25 And this is gold. This is like uh, I mean, I'm not going to argue that I prefer Buffalo Trace yeah. o- over Maker Smart. It just, it, this is like, it and boggles the my why, mind. The reason why I like it is if you look on my shelves back here, you're not going to find much in the, in, in, in the, the range of easy, tasting, delicate mm-hmm. whiskeys. I like my whiskeys to have character and to have bite and to have interest and to fill your palate with just wonderful aromas and have a wonderful lingering. Maker's Mark doesn't do that for me. That's right. Maker's Mark is a, a, a really decent bourbon. Yeah. But yeah. I consider it sort of a, and this is not a slight, This is I consider it a generic safe bourbon. If somebody wants to have a bourbon that isn't going to be complex, it isn't going to force them to really experience what a real whiskey, an intense whiskey is like. Maker's Mark is a really good choice. That's mm-hmm. probably why it's at bars because it's nice and safe. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And now, as, as I feel like, as far as bourbon goes, this is a high school state championship. Yeah. Yeah. This is D one football. Ooh. That is a great comparison. You know what I mean? Yeah. I think this is the this top is where it elite college football team. This is the elite. High school football team. You know what? I great, like great team. Great team. Great team. Always a champion. This one is far and above that level. Right, right. It's this not. Good. It's not a professional football team. It's no. not a Super Bowl winner. But yeah. it is. It is uh, full of elite athletes in there. Curtis is correct on the uh, on the comparison. The battle yeah. of our bourbons. This is out of the league of this. Even though both of them are in their own standings, they do fine. Yeah, they're wonderful. And if we don't have anything else to note about these, we're gonna. I want to start eating this cake. So, Great Britannian, take us out of here. <laughs> Let's have some cake. Britannian ate this cake, one, dude. One for, one all. for all. Let them eat cake. <laughs>